welcome black. Welcome back. I think I said welcome black. Listen to too much metal lately. I listen to a lot of uh, Metallica. <clears throat> it's like one of my parents' favorite bands. Uh, anyway, this is Takoko's. I am playing Pokemon Yellow. Welcome back. <clears throat> I'm Takoko's. This is my Pikachu, Jean Luc. Jean Luc Pikachu. Uh, we recently beat Brock and obtained the Boulder Badge with the help of this here Butterfree, who is a powerhouse of psychic power with the move Confusion, despite not being a psychic type. Uh, I don't know what that was, some kind of alert. Uh, we are now going to go up Mount Moon. So let's get right on that. We are heading to Cerulean City where we will take on the gym leader there, Misty, the water type trainer, and we're just gonna plow right through her with my Pikachu. Jean-Luc is just gonna kick everything in that. It's not even gonna be a challenge. You looked at me, didn't you? Okay, as a human being, I know you can't just be looking at people any kind of way, but this is an overreaction. Last wants to fight. Last then out Pidgey. Last made a terrible mistake. Because again, I have a Pikachu who's just gonna like knock flying types right out the water. Pidgey looks the hateful with its eyebrows. I haven't got to play uh, yesterday uh, because I was having a ball at my cousin's wedding, which was gorgeous. They had it way up in. Um, uh, this, like, hunting, lo hunting lodge fishing place uh, out in the middle of nature. It's October right now. It won't be when I post this video, but it was like 70 degrees. It was like a gorgeous, gorgeous day. I thought it was going to be cold. Like, I brought a flannel over shirt because I knew it was going to be outside and I thought it was going to be chilly. Absolutely gorgeous. I don't know how they pulled that. I'm thinking about going back and like watching, um, cause I have the entire uh, first season I know of Pokemon on DVD. I used to have it on VHS tape, but the VHS tape didn't come out uh, via season. It came out just like with three random episodes per tape that didn't seem to be in any kind of uh, order or anything. But the thing is, with the anime, I really only watch it for Team Rocket. I was always more of a Team Rocket fan, um, even when I was little. You're meme! Give me a dollar thirty-five. Quit staring if you don't want to fight. That's Val, that's life advice. Did that, uh, Nidoran... Yeah. Switch it out. I don't really need two Nidorans on my team, so um, I'm probably eventually going to replace the male one because the females have higher defense. Um, for some reason. <clears throat> I think the males, the males have a higher attack stat, but the females have a higher defense stat. And again, Nidoran in Gen 1 were the only Pokemon to have genders, so I think it's kind of messed them up to do it that way, because now all Pokemon have uh, differences, um, or different genders, and they have sexually dimorphic differences in their, um, like, phenotypical differences that you can just see by looking at them. How you feeling, Peek? Let's go, Jean-Luc. Like, uh, the female Pikachus and the, fe and the male Pikachus have different shapes to their tails was not the case in Gen 1, but really the Nidoran should not be two different species. It's just a, um, just sexual dimorphism between the same species. i talk to you already. I'm gonna fight everybody on this trail to help me level up. Hey, I met you in Viridian Forest! Did ya? I'm skeptical. I think fan favorite Joey might be on this, um, getting ready to appear here pretty quick. 
Why did you not evolve that? Why would you keep a level 10 Caterpie? That's unwise. Let's get my good trusty bug zapper Jean-Luc out here. Slow my ass down, I don't care. Um, you may notice that instead of using potions, I just go back to the um, Pokemon Center. It's because healthcare for Pokemon is free, but uh, potions cost money. And I don't have a Meowth. I have like no way to make money, and so I try to save my money so I can buy Pokeballs. Actually, after this battle, I'm going to look and see how many Pokeballs I have, because I try to keep at least 10 on me. Might need to get some more. Oh, good. About to use Weedle. I could not catch one Weedle. I walked around that forest so long, and I never did catch a Weedle. That's about as broad as it is long. We'll just send him back out. Look at the sprite on that Weedle. That's not one that I remember seeing. I love the sprite art in Pokemon games. Um, I've actually made some, uh, I was gonna say knitting, but cross-stitch patterns. Knitting, too, if you want to do in Yarja, because they've got very few colors. Or Fair Isle. Um, patterns of Pokemon from Gen 1. But they were based on, um, probably blue, I'd say. Because I played through it, and I, like, um, screenshotted. And then I drew over to make, um, sprite art. So, and, and like, colored them and stuff, because as you can see, it's monochromatic. <clears throat> Even on the Game Boy Color. I'm glad that didn't poison me. But uh, those are available on my Etsy shop, Stitchalope, if uh, that's something anybody's interested in. I actually did the Charmander, Charmeleon, and Charizard because um, Charmeleon is usually my. Er, Charmander is usually my starter. I love Charmander. And I've got it hanging over my bed. I was hoping that Rattata would level up again. Get all these low levels up to where they can actually do something. I don't have a very well balanced team right now. Because it's so early in the game. But hopefully we'll even that out. We'll go through Mount Moon here and get something. I don't know what. I might get a Jigglypuff because it's based on the uh, TV show. But when I was a kid, um, I called it Pokemania. Pokemon was this huge thing. And I think a lot of the people were more interested in Team Rocket than they were Ash and uh, his friends. With the exception of Brock. I really liked Brock. <clears throat> there is this um, fan show on the YouTubes. I think it's called Pokemon Pals. That is hilarious. If you watched Pokemon when you were a little kid and you are now an adult... It is like the funniest thing you will ever see, and you should totally watch it. It's great. I don't know who the actors are, but you can tell that they're fans. You beat me again! Got a dollar. There are other kinds of Pokemon than those found in the forest. Yeah, you're telling me that! You're the one that's got bugs and nothing else. Come in here with that, uh, use other kinds of Pokemon bullshit on me. You didn't evolve your Caterpie. You could know confusion by now. And you chose not to. The thing about the Pokemon anime... Um, is that it just kept going. There's like... Thousands of episodes of it. So if you kind of fall out of favor, I don't know how you get back into it. It's one of those shows that is, um, I don't want to say dumbed down, but it's very obviously a children's show. So you do kind of get to the point where it feels like, um, if you don't have time to watch it, it's, it's not really, you're not missing anything. So I've not watched it in probably about 10 years. Yeah, I need to go get some Pokeballs. I didn't actually mean to save. I have like a reflexive, every time I open the menu, I want to save. Let's go up here to the Pokemart. 
In the new games, the Pokemon and the Pokemon Centers are in the same building. Two, three, four, five. If I can afford an escape rope, I probably ought to go ahead and get that too, because I'm going into the mines. Get one of the mines into the uh, mountain. I live in a mining town. This is like just such a nostalgic game. Is that Joey? One of these is Joey. No, this shorts guy! I like shorts. They're comfy and easy to wear. I'm wearing shorts right now. In the real world. I agree with you, shorts dude. He's not even wearing like denim shorts. He's wearing like those red uh, like basketball shorts. So y'all think Ultra Moon and Ultra Sun are like worth buying? Well, it's good against a Rattata. And we'll just use Pikachu again. It's probably not that great, but I'll paralyze it and go that way. When I was little, I had, um... Actually, I still have them somewhere in a, um... In a folder, like a zip-up folder. But I had the entire, um... It took me forever to get it. I mean, year, like two or three years. Um, Team Rocket set. And of course, I've got a lot of duplicates because I mostly got them. I got a couple of them through trades, like um, from school and stuff. But most of them, I just straight up bought like the booster packs. Trying to get them all. And then I've got a couple of, um, of cards that are special that I got. Like I went to the movie and got the Mew card. I actually got two of them. I don't remember how I got two of them, but I have two of them. So... I don't know if I saw it twice. It's written in like runes though, so you can play with it. Ekans! Love Ekans! I wonder if I can get an Ekans in this. In red and blue, you had to choose between Meowth and Ekans. You couldn't get like a whole Team Rocket team unless you traded for it. See, this is another thing. It's like back in the day you could actually catch them all. It was um, within the realm of reason that you could get 150 spread over two games. Now there's like 700 or some crazy shit. I'll tell you what I like though. Uh, in Pokemon Moon, I think it was, the most recent one, I, um, was it Moon? It might have been the one before that the one in Paris, or like France, um, either way, one of the best Pokemon that I had in that game was a possessed sword with like a human soul in it. That thing, I can't remember what it was called, but it evolved into two swords, and then it evolved into like a sword and shield. That thing did good by me. That was a very good Pokemon. I enjoyed him. On Guard, maybe was his name? So that was my favorite new Pokemon. The ultimate Pokemon in that, the fairy that I got, um, was useless. I much preferred my just normal possessed sword that I found in the grass. I made a conscious effort not to save there. I'm thinking about going back and um, and doing patterns for them too, but the thing is, the 3D ones, I have to like, um, I don't have a sprite art to base it on, because like I said, normally I screenshot and then um, just like draw over it and clean it up and color it and stuff. Those I'd have to do all original sprite art, and that takes a lot longer. But I might do that anyway. There was also a Pokemon trading card game, video game, but I didn't have it, so I've not played it. But I know it existed. I don't think I knew anyone that did have it. 
I know people, we just played Pokemon cards like we play them at lunch. And then the teachers got like mags, we'd be playing Pokemon like in lieu of food. And they kind of tried to like ban them. Let's use Pidgey. My piece of candy that I was eating broke into half, like directly down the middle. In my mouth. That was weird. Like there was a seam on it. I can't remember if it's this game or one of the other ones, but one of the Gen 1 games, the Evolved Form of Weedle, um, what is it called? Uh, the... <sighs> I can't remember what it's called, but the, um, Cocoon Form has its arms out, and I've never seen that in anything but that one particular sprite. Like, most of the other ones don't even look like they got arms. When does Pidgey evolve? Kakuna! If I'd have waited two seconds. There's one of the new Pokemon that is a bug type, and when it evolves, if you don't have, if you have like a blank part in your party, uh, it'll give you two Pokemon when it evolves, and one of them is just the evolved form of that, like the, you know, to fight with, and the other one is a, um, husk of the cocoon, and it's got like a little halo on it, and it only has one HP no matter how far you level it up, and it's completely useless, and it's really, really weird that it exists. It freaks me out. It feels like a creepypasta. Like, to hear it spoken of, it sounds like a creepypasta. They do have, like, you can kind of see the arms that I'm talking about. The Weedles and Kakunas kind of freak me out too, but not as much as the, um, the other one, just because it's, um, it makes sense to fear giant bees. Like, that doesn't need to exist in the world. I think anybody in their right mind would want to not be around a three-foot bee, or wasp, or whatever that thing is. You just don't need that in your life. There used to be all these conspiracy theories about um, Pokemon, like back in the day. About the, like, world, the universe that Pokemon inhabits. And, um, one of them that kind of stuck out is that there were also real animals in the Pokemon world because there's a couple of episodes of the anime that kind of hint towards that. Um, there's one time where there's real fish in the ocean, and then, um, there's a time where Meowth says something about getting a cat to watch a canary. Um, and, like, Lieutenant Surge talks about this giant war that happened, like, prior to the events of, uh, Gen 1 Pokemon. So there's, uh, this fan theory that Pokemon used to be just, like, real animals, and then there was a nuclear war. That, um, because Lieutenant Surge says that Pokemon saved his life during the war, and that Pokemon were originally bioweapons that were created to help fight this war. And when they got out, they were just so much better at um, evolving to suit their environment that they just kind of uh, wiped out all the natural animal species. And that that's why it makes sense for there to be um, entire branches of zoology that just don't know jack shit. You know, scientists that have studied these things apparently their entire life and then give you an empty encyclopedia. So that's the uh, Pokemon conspiracy theory. That doesn't hold up once you get to the later games because they talk about having uh, legends that stretch back really, really far. Uh, something else that Gen 1 did, and I think Gen 2 as well was reference real world locations and real world situations. Like Lieutenant Surge is from the United States of America. He calls himself the Lightning American. Uh, they found uh, 
they were looking for Mew, and they found it in, um, somewhere in South America. I can't remember where. Some South American country. And there is a, in one of the museums, there is a statue of the spacecraft, the Challenger, a spaceship that in the real world exploded and killed everyone on board. So in the re-release of that game, I'm thinking it was Gen 2, they changed it to where it just said like a spaceship or something like that because um, I guess to be respectful for the people that died on the Challenger. But that, all of that, all those real world references lended credence to this idea um, again, the conspiracy theory that people used to talk about. And those are things that would probably be retconned if they were to uh, re-release the games again. Which I would like to see. I'd like to see Gen 1 re-released on, like, the 3DS. If I had new Pokemon, I would've won. 90 cents for four Pokemon. Wow. PC box on- if a Pokemon box on the PC gets full, just switch to another box. That is annoying, by the way. Because you literally have to do that. I don't think we're bad enough hurt to have to go back to the, the Pokemon Center yet. Because you literally have to go in and change them manually, and it's really annoying. Hey, you're not wearing shorts! Shorts love in groups! This whole group is just very pro-shorts. It's October, dude. Youngster wants to fight. Youngster sent out Spiro. Oh, I've not seen any of those. That's a four level 14, goddamn. Hmm. Is Electric strong against flying? I can't remember. That's not very effective. That did a good deal of damage to not be very effective. Jesus. Chill, Sparrow. God. This might actually be a difficult battle. I'm not wasting a potion on it, though. Again, those things are not free. <clears throat> if I had some water, I'd be alright. Hopefully it'll just stay... Just stay paralyzed, is what I was gonna say. I think that uh, this trainer only had two Pokemon, though, so I'm probably alright. And I'm faster than that Spearow, so I get to hit first. Oh, it only had one. Alright. Lost, lost, lost! Got two dollars and ten cents. I always wear shorts, even in winter. That's not a good idea. That's a bad idea. That's a good way to get, like, um, frostbite. Get it in your legs. I wear shorts, like, around the house, because the heat is so damn high in here all the time. Yep, heal him. Heal him. I love the music in here. Ding, 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 ding. Thank you, your Pokemon are fighting fit. I think that Chansey... Um, we have to see you again. I think that Chansey was not there <coughs> in Red and Blue. I think that was an addition to make it more closely resemble the TV show. I honestly just want to get to Mount Moon so we can see Jesse and James. I love both Jesse and James and also Meowth. Oh, I talked to you already. Like, I was so young when I played Pokemon that it was still at the time when you would, like, play pretend with your friends. That look you gave me, it's so intriguing! Well, you seem to interpret it as aggressive, so... Lass wants to fight. Lass sent out Rattata. But we would play, um, Pokemon like a pretend game. And I would be Jesse. I think a lot of people did that. I think that Pokemon was a big part of a lot of people's childhoods. I used to be able to do the voice pretty good, but I'm not going to try it now. 
Plus, it's probably different now, because I know Rachel, uh, Rachel Lillis does not... Oh my Jesus Christ! God damn, that was a... That Radita is in the top percentage of Radita. That is way up there. I'm glad it's paralyzed. Uh, but I know she doesn't do the voice anymore. I don't know who does it now. I've not played it, um... Really, I've not watched it really since the original voice acting team left. Oh, and Nidoran. Yeah, we'll change to whoever needs the experience. Uh, something else in the original games, um, giving an experience share didn't work the same way as it does now. Um, now you just give like any member of your Pokemon party an experience share. And that will, um... That will allow your entire team to split the experience, like on, you know, some other RPGs. That was not the case in the original. It was just the Pokemon that was holding the experience share would be the one that would get the share of experience. <clears throat> and actually, I think you can't even hold items. Until Gen 2, I don't think that you can hold anything right now. Oh, you're dead. Well, you tried, buddy. You tried, and that's what's important. You did your best. And we'll go revive you at a Pokemon Center here in a minute. You big-eared bastard. You killed my Pikachu. Be nice, you killed my Pikachu! You gave me a dollar fifty for my trouble. Avoid fights by not letting people see you. I need the experience. I got shit to do. I've got crime lords to take down. As a small child, well, you will watch your goddamn mouth. Let's go get my. Let's go get Jean Luc fixed up. There's a constant barrage of people hanging out in that little spot, just kicking my ass. I feel like RPGs would be weird to watch because they're so like repetitive because it's um it's a similar battle structure. Your Pokemon are fighting fit. We hope to see you again. Especially turn based, and I think I mentioned before I have I have two brothers. One of them is closer in age to me than the other, and um he never really liked RPGs. Like I said at the time, like when I was younger, Final Fantasy VII was like a big thing. And uh, he never could get into it. I played it, but he just did not enjoy turn-based battle systems. He said he got bored easily with them. I disagree. I think they're fine. I think it's a perfectly good game mechanic. I don't think it's better or worse than others. I'll tell you what does drag on. I mean, I like them, but they do drag on. The battles take like two or three, like... It can take anywhere from an hour to like three hours is, um... Like, Final Fantasy Tactics series. Like, uh, that kind of battle system. I like it, I think it's fun to play, but I can see how that would bore some people because it just takes 40 bajillion years to do anything. And I was under the impression that you had to remember, um... What class did what? I didn't know that it was, like, um... In the game. <laughs> Especially the PS1 game. I didn't know that it remembered that for you. So, uh, I was trying to, like, remember what everybody knew in my party. I yelled, like, 20 party members. So when I discovered that that was, uh, that the game kept track of that for me, that was a great day. So I was just going through that, trying to, like, keep all that in my little brain. Look at that. It's got, like, one HP left. Oh, level 11. Alright. Can you even... Um, it's trying to learn Quick Attack. Good. That's good. Um, I don't know that this Pikachu in particular, like your starter Pikachu, I feel like you can't... Uh, can't use a Thunderstone on. Na, 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 na. About to use Metapod. See, one of the lower level Pokemon probably could take on a Metapod by itself. 
<coughs> Excuse me. But it just takes it so long to do so. Hmm, about as broad as it is long. I'll use Jean Luc again. I think I'm getting pretty close to the uh, next Pokemon Center, so I might just keep going. I'm probably gonna get to um, to that Pokemon Center. Oh wow, that did next to nothing. It's all about math, so we'll do that down to 27. <coughs> and then do the actual um, Mount Moon in the next video, because this is already like half an hour long. Where does the time go? This is a time suck. This is one of those games you'll be playing and then it'll be like three days later and you've not eat or like slept and just forget um, all the rest of humanity. You don't remember anything about your like work and family and friends. It's just all gone. It's just all Pokemon now. That thing's got its defense so high that it's incapable of getting any higher. Level does Radita of all that. I like Radicates. Done like dinner. Stick a fork in him. Dollar ten. Train Pokemon are stronger than the wild ones. How you feeling? Feeling good? Okay, I'll let you die, so I thought you might be mad at me. I'd really like to keep these Nidorans until they evolved, though, just so I'd have them in my Pokedex. <clears throat> but what you gonna do? Okay. Mm if that other um, thing is up there as I think it is, I'll come down here and catch some stuff before I end the video. Just walk around that patch of grass a little bit. Jigglypuff! I want a Jigglypuff! Oh my god, it's got them red eyes like an Igglybuff. Igglybuff scares the shit out of me. Yeah, we'll just keep keep a peeking. He can paralyze things, so it makes it easier to fight things that are um, higher levels than him. <coughs> and if he dies, I'm like 90% sure that there's a Pokemon Center right up the road. Let's do a quick attack. Even though we, had, I think, attack first anyway. That paralyzed the hell out of it. I'd be so pissed, like I told you I used to play the trading card game at lunch. You get these, um... <clears throat> on the trading card game, if you paralyze somebody, they flip a coin, and that's what determines if it's, uh... if it continues to be paralyzed or not. So, you can par- does it- put them to sleep instantly. Yeah, I just play through it, dude. Just, you'll wake up eventually. <clears throat> Oh no! I thought you'd be paralyzed! Shit! Okay, well now you're asleep forever. But, uh, sometimes you get people... And you wouldn't flip like a regular coin. There were these coins that came with the, um... With the cards that you would get. And sometimes they'd flip them and then they'd be... They'd come out of paralysis before it would have actually even affected them. So it was as if you did nothing and you just wasted a turn. That was a lot of experience. That's it. I got 210 polka dollars. Route 4 is at the foot of Mount Moon. I am aware. Let's, let's reconfigure my polka ningles. I really hope that Pokemon Center is as close as I believe it to be, because if not, um, I might be in a situation here. Like, I was thinking it was just above her. It's right there, isn't it? It's right up that way. I'm gonna have to fight this guy without a Pikachu. Oh! Mount Moon ahead, okay. Alright then. Just don't look at nobody, don't say nothing to nobody, just go in here. Welcome to our Pokemon Center. We heal your Pokemon back to perfect health. Yeah, do that, please. 
John Luke is dead. Thank you, your Pokemon are fighting fit. We hope to see you again. Come on. How you doing? Death does not phase him. I thought it did. I thought there was something that was like, if you let him die, it made him mad. You know what pisses me off is you're playing like, um, I think it's Fire Emblem. If you have too many Pokemon, you should store them via PC. Yeah, animals love being stuck in computers. I have six Pokeballs set in my belt. At most, you can carry six Pokemon. Hmm. Team Rocket attacks Cerulean citizens. Team Rocket is always in the news. <coughs> Are you prepared for trouble? Bald dude, talk to me. Hello there, have I got a deal just for you. I'll let you have a swell magic cart for just $500. What do you say, do I have $500 to spare? Because I'll take that. Yeah, got me a magic cart. Do you want to give a nickname to magic cart? No. Oh shit. I should have named him. I should have named him Mr. Fish after the dude from uh, Manly Guys Doing Manly Things. Okay, let's deposit the male Nidoran. Let's withdraw Mr. Fish. Okay. It's like a seal. Let's bring him all the way up to the... the front of the line, because he's the... He's the lowest level. <clears throat> it's a sleeping dragon. So that's good, we got ourselves a water type. <coughs> I tripped over a rocky Pokemon, Geodude! Oh, is this the game where sometimes you'll you'll think it's a rock and you can like go to check it and then it'll be a Geodude? <coughs> Throat's going. Whew, I better take a rest. Groan. That tunnel from Cerulean takes a lot out of you. Okay, let's see what Pokemon lurk in the tall grass here. Let's see what's down here. <coughs> Might switch our team up a little bit. Spearow, that's pretty good. It's alright. Does he know anything but Splash? No. Okay. Let's switch you out for good old Jean Loops. So we can paralyze it. I would like to have a, um, <coughs> a Julie Puff that knew sleep, or a grass type that knew, uh, sleep powder. Because that makes it a lot easier to catch stuff. Let's see if we can quick attack it without killing it. Yeah, that's good. That'll be what we do. Once my Pidgey evolves, I'll probably switch it out for this Spiro, just to get them both in the Pokedex. I mean, assuming, of course, that I do catch it. I'd really like to keep that Rattata until it evolves, but if I catch a um, Jigglypuff, I might switch it out, because they're both normal types, and Jigglypuff will know Sing. I'm pretty sure that you can get a Jigglypuff around here somewhere. One, two, three, and for me! <coughs> Tiny bird. Inept at flying high. However, it can fly around very fast to protect its territory. You wanna give a nickname to the Spiro? No. I'm Spiro's beat ash is ass. Let's look around and see if we can get a puff. Get a jiggle jiggle. Jiggly puff, jiggly puff. Oh, that's pretty good. That's sand tree. Do I have one of them? I can't remember if I got one of them or not. Magic Carp, if you had actually learned anything, you'd be useful. Let's use Pikachu to paralyze it, and then we'll use a different Pokemon to take its health down. <coughs> Thunder waves! Oh, okay. 
I guess no thunder moves affected at all. Okay, let's go, um, Pidgey. Well, it's a level 8. Will a, will a flying move kill it? Hopefully not. I feel like I have a sand shoe because I feel like I told the story about that guy that was a dick to a sand shoe, but um, yeah, I'll just have two, I guess, because I can't remember. And this one doesn't tell you if you've caught the Pokemon already or not. <clears throat> I'm glad that didn't kill it because it very easily could have. It's a Pokeball. My Poke Face, po 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 Poke Face. All right, sand shoe was caught. Your Pokedex Ada will be dead. Mouse. Just mouse type. Its body is dry. When it gets cold at night, its hide is said to become coated with a fine dew. I don't know what to say about that. That sounds kind of sad. Let's save because we've caught some new Pokemon. None of them were Jigglypuff, but that's alright. Jigglypuff is another one of the Pokemon that only evolves with a stone. I think Igglybuff will evolve because it loves you. Got one of these already. My Pikachu's actually about to die. I'm going with Butterfree. I know Butterfree is really susceptible to um, flying attacks, but we're just gonna hit it with Confusion. Because Confusion wipes out most things pretty easily. And it also can confuse it, so that's always good. See, you know, that's gonna hurt me a lot, though. That might kill me. No, he's good. He's good. Before um, the concept of like a shiny Pokemon, there was an episode where an Ash's Butterfree um, was trying to mate with this Butterfree that was uh, like pink. It was a different color. And that was interesting because at the time that wasn't like a thing that happened. I'm gonna run up here and heal myself and then I'm gonna go to that other patch of grass and walk around a little bit. And then if I still haven't caught anything we'll go back to the Pokemon Center and end the video there and then next time we'll head into Mount Moon. Which I hope I can get through because I'm thinking you might need a Pokemon that knows Flash to do that. If that's the case, I don't know what the hell I'm supposed to be doing. I love the way it wiggles its little tail. It's just a little flip sprite. They're so cute. Watch this um, video on like the science of cuteness in video games and design. And just like why, uh, psychologically, why cute things sell well. Be able to see you again. I'll make sure everybody's in order here. And then save. Yeah, I'd love to see a remake of these Gen 1 games. I'm thinking that the other um, patch of grass is right here anyway. It's not very far. I like to cover just like the whole patch of grass. I'm gonna give it a once over and that's gonna be sufficient. Like if I don't get anything in the once over I'm gonna go on. I just sure would like to have a Jigglypuff but it looks like there's not gonna be anything but Spearows and Sand Shrews. So maybe we can get a couple of levels on this magic carp here. Because really, uh, it needs to be about level 20 before I can do anything with it. Mm, what was out there? Spiro? Growl. That's a shit move. You gonna get Thunder Shook? Yeah. That's what I thought. 
Oh, level 6, that's pretty good. I'm not super worried about evolving that magic carp. I'm just gonna keep it on my team. Yeah, there is nothing here. And let it evolve alongside the rest of the Pokemon. Uh, because it is a few levels behind already. And we'll just all get there. We'll get there at the same place at the same time. Magic Carp is such a symbol, isn't it? Like, everyone identifies with Magic Carp. Everyone is all about trying to grow into something. They say that revenge is a dish best served as a giant dragon. There's, um, talk about Pokemon fan theories. There's another one, um, uh, about Magic Carps. That Gyarados was supposed to be, um, or it would make more sense to be the final form of the Dragonite evolution tree, and that Dragonair would make more sense to be the evolution of Magic Carp. I feel like the people who believe that have not looked a, uh, Gyarados in the face because. It looks like a magic carp in the face. They've still both got that derp face. And also, um, <clears throat> the magic carp thing is based on a legend of this carp that really wanted to be a dragon. And the way it could turn into a dragon was it had to, like, swim up this waterfall. And if it could get to the top, it could uh, get its dream of being a dragon fulfilled. And that is actually how you evolve the magic carp in Pokemon Snap, which I mentioned before being a game that I really enjoy. <clears throat> okay, we are healed, so we are going to save, and next time we are going to head into Mount Moon. So we did pretty good today, we got a couple of new Pokemon, uh, got that Magic Carp, which is going to be a water type that will be a helpful addition to the team whenever it gets to the point where we can learn some water type moves, and some dragon type moves. Which I don't think that Gyarados, I mean Gyarados is obviously a dragon. But I don't think that it's a dragon type. I can't remember. I'll have to look when it evolves. Next time we'll be heading up Mount Moon. We're going to get us some fossils. We're going to fight some gangsters. It's going to be great. I'm Takogos. This has been Pokemon Yellow. And you guys have a great night. Bye-bye. <laughs>